on fair I'm actually come from a little town about 20 minutes down the road, a little town called Gosport. <laughs> For those of you who don't know Gosport, Gosport is a sort of town where dreams are heavily frowned upon. <laughs> What's that, mate? You got a dream, have ya? You know what you need to do with that dream? You need to put it on a wall and plaster over it, because that's what you should be doing, plastering. None of this dream bollocks put down the foundations and pick up a fucking spanner. <laughs> Okay, Mum. <laughs> but Gosport is a strange place. I don't particularly like leaving the house that much in Gosport. Every time I go outside, something seems to happen. Like the other day, well, I went for a walk. Nice little walk. But what's the worst that can happen on a nice little walk? All of a sudden, I get approached by a geezer. Proper fucking geezer. <laughs> it's got all the geezer equipment, tattoos, fake gold jewellery, and aroma of male insecurity. <laughs> I think it's called Lynx Africa. <laughs> and he walks up to me, right, and this is honestly how he begins the interaction. Oi! Now, no sentence that begins with the word oi is ever going to go well, is it? It's never going to be, oi! Would you like a Ferrero Rocher? <laughs> so I said to the geese, what's the matter? He said, can you look after my dog whilst I go in the shop and buy some fags? I said, yes, because I was scared to say no. <laughs> and the geezer hands me his dog, which is a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. He then hands me an open can of lager. Not part of the original deal, madam. And the geezer walks into the corner shop, and I am left outside this corner shop holding an open can of lager and a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. And I don't know what come over me. <laughs> Fillmore Geezer. All of a sudden, I got the urge to sign on. It was weird. Everything was running smoothly, right up until the point Kung Fu fighting comes on. Now, when Kung Fu fighting comes on, the kicks come out. So I'm kicking all over the place. I'm going crazy. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. I'm kicking here. I'm kicking there. I'm kicking everywhere. People are loving it on the highlight of the wedding. All of a sudden, my 78-year-old nan comes onto the dance floor. <laughs> now, I don't know why I did what I did, but I decided that it was a good idea to try and kick my leg <coughs> all the way over my nan's head. <laughs> I kicked my nan in the face. <laughs> Not just a little kick, I put my big boot to the chops, her false teeth, and now she fell on the floor. My cousin started having a go at me. Nate, why did you kick your nan in the face? I said, listen, do it on purpose. I didn't come to your wedding today with a sole intention of kicking my grandmother in the face. It just happened, I'm sorry, don't blame me. Blame the DJ, he's the one who put Kung Fu fucking fighting on. There was bound to be great tactics. <laughs> At which point my cousin looked at me sternly and said, Nath, you requested Kung Fu Fighting. <laughs> I said, okay, you got me. I requested Kung Fu Fighting, but I was not the only one. Everybody was Kung Fu Fighting. <laughs> that little debate in your head? Should I go back? Nah. <laughs> it's only a telly. We <laughs> must There are other things that happen to you when you get old that people don't care to mention. But before I started working in a nursing home, I had no idea about the possibility of a prolapsed anus. <laughs> Like 
prolapse, shut up. Free! <laughs> There are three common causes of prolapse anus syndrome. Right? First cause, certain medication can make your anus fall out. <laughs> Second cause, excessive straining. Third cause, now this one's a weird one, fear or extreme shock <laughs> can make your pensioner's anus prolapse. <laughs> so next time you think it's a little bit of fun making Nam jump, <laughs> 